Brother Junior. Psalm 115, Black Eyed Brothers Bitcoin. and sisters, this is part four of The Potter and the Clay. We're glad that you tuned in to The Bible Show here on the POET Network. We're coming down to Psalms. 115. Psalms 115. Psalm 115. Sisters and brothers, you heard the warning about idolatry. You heard the warning about making pagan things and attributing to attributing thing, those things to God. The Lord don't like it. He said, to whom will you compare me to? To whom will you liken me? Brothers and sisters, how do you think Jesus feels? Or Yeshua, brothers and sisters, how do you think he feels when you take a pagan holiday like Easter, which is the celebration of a sex goddess, the goddess of fertility, but you put his name on top of it and you say, oh, man, this is Easter Sunday. We're going to celebrate Jesus. How in the hell can you celebrate Wait, Jesus? Hold, brothers easy and sisters? does it, fellas. Oh, I'm sorry. Easy does it. How can you celebrate Jesus under the banner of a pagan holiday? How can you do that? Oh my goodness. Have you done your research? Have you went to your Google search engine and researched the true origin of the pagan holiday Easter? Or Christmas. Which is a spring celebration, brothers and sisters. It's a time of the year when grass grow back out of the ground, leaves grow back from the trees, animals that are in, that are in hibernation wow. comes out of hibernation, and they have a goddess that they put as a symbol of spring called Ishtar or Easter or Esther. But we put Jesus name in association with that brothers and sisters. Mm. And the people at the church roll with it. I'm sorry, brothers and sisters. <laughs> I, I get passionate and excited. Where we at? Psalm 115. Uh-huh. Verse 1. Come Psalm on. 115. Look what the Lord think about all those things. Ice. Not unto us, O Lord. Uh -huh. Not unto us. Yes. But unto thy name give glory for thy mercy. Why? Ice, why? And for thy truth's sake. Well, go ahead. Wherefore should the heathen say, where is now their God? And this is what the people say. Where is God at? Who is God? Why should I believe God? Why right. should I fear God? Isn't that what Pharaoh told Moses? Your God has left you. He said, who is God? And guess what happened to him? He ended up drowning in his whole army with him. Mm. Remember, Egypt lost. Come on, it's Verse 3. Psalms 115 and 3. Tell us about Jesus, the God of Israel. Who is he? But our God is in the heavens. He's in the what? In the heavens. Oh, it's more than one heaven, huh? It, yes, it is. Read it, guys. Come on. He has done whatsoever he has pleased. Go ahead, because he is the potter. Go ahead. Their idols are silver and gold. You, you even put it on your tree. The work of men's hands. Deck the halls with the balls of fire. Go, uh, it is folly too. Go ahead. I... <laughs> Verse 5. Go ahead. They have mouths, but <clears throat> but they speak not. You out there bowing down <clears throat> to you in some house of worship or outside of some house of, her, of worship, bow down to an image made of stone or wood or gold or silver. Tell us about it. I... Or even the sun in the sky. Or the moon in the sky. How can you bow down and worship the creation rather than the creator who created it? Tell us about it, Black Ice. Verse 5. Verse 5. Yeah. Psalms 115 and now, 5. Now, this is out of them. This is what men do. Come on, Ice. They have mouths, yeah. but they speak not. Go ahead. Eyes have they, uh -huh. but they see not. Go ahead. They have ears, but they hear not. Pagan, go ahead. Noses they have, but they smell it not. It ain't even alive. The birds poop on it. It rains and snows on it. Mm. It gets moldy. And you out there scrubbing on it, bowing down to it, cleaning the feet of it. Shame on you. Come on, Ice. They have hands, but they handle not. You, they it's the, they mm. got hands, but you got to stand them up. When they fall down, you got to set it back in its place. But it's a God. And you reverence it. Come on, Ice. Feet have they. Yeah. But they walk not. Go ahead. Neither speak through their throat. Uh-huh. They that make them are like unto them, uh -huh. so is everyone that trusteth in them. So you are an idolater and a pagan worshiper. You go to church on the first day of the week. Notice it's spelled Sunday, S-U-N-D-A-Y. Well, y'all, why y'all coming hard? Because the Lord told you in the commandments to remember the Sabbath day, the seventh day, and keep it holy. Wow. Wow. Wait a minute, can I, Black can, can I read the definition of Sunday real quick? Read it to him, Black Eyes. Let read me read you guys the definition of Sunday. The Wikipedia definition of Sunday, brothers and sisters. It says in the Wikipedia definition of Sunday, for most Christians, I'm sorry, it says Sunday is the day of the week following Saturday, uh -huh. but before Monday. 
Sunday is a day of rest in most Western countries mm -hmm. as a part of the weekend. For most Christians, Sunday is observed as a day of worship and rest. What? Who's Christian? What, what kind of Christian? But ahead, now, right? when you go to the etymology or the root of the word, it says Sunday being the day of the sun. How do you spell it? S-U-N. Uh -uh. As the name of the first day of the week. What? Is derived from the Hellenistic astrology where the seven planets known in English as Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, the Sun, Venus, Mercury, and the Moon each had an hour of the day assigned to them. Wow. And the planet which was uh, regent during the first hour of any day of the week gave its name to that day. What? So, brothers and sisters, we have to give you this knowledge. Sunday, first day of the week. The day of worship is supposed to be the seventh day of the week, which is Saturday, the day set aside. You go to any calendar, go on your phone, the first day of any month starts all the way to the left, and it says Sunday. The last day goes all the way to the right, and it says Saturday. So we're teaching you things, brothers and sisters, or what you call learning something on the way to learning something. But our topic today is the potter and the clay. Who shaped you and molded you into the person that you are today? Was it God or was it Satan? You have to ask yourself that question. Wow. We are in no position to judge. Brother Julius? Let's go to Revelation, the second chapter, Black Eyes. We're closing out, brothers and Revelations sisters. Revelation chapter two. Revelations. And this is a message to uh, one of the seven churches, which represent the seven uh, 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 periods of the church age. Look what we look what we have done, black guys. It ain't nothing new. Revelation chapter two. Revelations chapter two. And pick it up at verse eighteen. Revelations two and eighteen. Go ahead. And it reads, and unto the angel of the church of Thy Thyatira, Thyatira, uh -huh. right. These things saith the Son of God, uh -huh. who have in his eyes like unto a flame of fire, right. and his feet are like fine brass. Wait a minute, I thought Jesus was a uh, uh, pale face uh, and long stringy hair with blue eyes. Or in the image of the Caucasian huh? or the Gentile. No, brothers and sisters. No, not at all. Didn't come from that region. Didn't possess those features, brothers and sisters. Mm. He, like Moses, like Joseph, brothers and sisters, and like the other prophets, looked just like the Ethiopian uh -huh. or the Egyptians during that time. Black and burnt face, brothers and what? sisters. What? What verse we at? We at 18. Now we at 19. Go ahead, Ice. And I know the works. I know thy works. And I know the works and charity and service and faith. And thy patience and thy works. Uh -huh. And the last to be more than the first. Go ahead, Ice. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against you. Because you sufferest that woman, Jezebel. Who was Jezebel? Wow. Jezebel was not a woman of the night. She was not a prostitute. She was King Ahab, King, Israel's wicked king. One of Israel's wicked king. Wife. Mm -hmm. A female Priestess. high priestess. Mm -hmm. Come on, Ice. Which called herself a prophetess. To teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and uh -huh. to eat things sacrificed unto animals, they, uh, idols. They did this, black eyes. They did this, black eyes. Come to continue to eat. And I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. Now, this is the church of Thyatira. I gave her space to repent. Go ahead, Ice. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, uh -huh. and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation. Into what? Great tribulation. We're talking about end time. Come on, Ice. Except they repent of their deeds. Except their what? And what the Lord say he's going to do? And I will kill her children with death. Wait a minute. Did the Lord say I kill whom I will, and I have mercy on my will? This is the last book of the Bible. That's what he Read said. Read it, Ice. And I will kill her children with death, and all the churches shall know uh -huh. that I am he which searcheth through reins and hearts. Go ahead, and I, I will give unto every one of you according to your works. Not according to your thoughts or how you feel, but according to your works, black guys. Uh -huh. According to your works. Continue at verse 26. Verse 26, and it reads, Yes. And he that overcometh and keepeth my work unto the end. Oh, until you profess that you say to him will I give power over the nations. Go ahead. And he shall rule them with the rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shiver, even as I receive of my father. And what else he gonna give him, black guys? And I will give him the morning star. Uh -huh. He that have an, Jesus. Go ahead. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the Lord. Wow. Brothers and sisters, we gave you a blockbuster lesson today 
uh, with permission of the Lord. It was called the potter and the clay, brothers and sisters. It is so interesting that when you look at what the potter does with the clay, he shapes it and he molds it into any image, brothers and sisters, that he deems fit. In the beginning, the Lord told you what he was shaping you and what he was molding you in. Let us create man in our image after our likeness. Brothers and sisters, we've fallen so far away from the image and the likeness of God, brothers and sisters, that now we're in the shape and we're in the mold of Satan the devil. What? We resemble him more than we resemble God. So that means that we got to get it right. We got to get it back on track, brothers and sisters. But it's going to take you doing your research, brothers and sisters, and questioning everything that is said in that church that you pay 10% of your paycheck to. What? But get only 10% of the truth out of it. I ain't never read about a pastor's love offering. Wow. Wow. First lady's love offering. I ain't never read that black ice. Where did this come? It didn't come out of the book. The Lord say, offer your vows and pay your vows unto the Lord. Mm. What the pastor do with the money? That's between him and the Almighty. He said, keep my commandments. Keep my day. Reverence my sanctuary. Respect it. But you back in, you running back and forth in it. That's right. Turning flips in it. It's a theater. And when I see it on television, I am, as a minister, I am embarrassed. Wow. All I can say is what the Lord told you in Ezekiel 18 chapter. Repent and don't let iniquity be your ruin, sisters right. and brothers. This is Brother Julius, the pot in the clay. Brothers and sisters, we thank all of you all for tuning in to another edition of the Bible Show Truth Hour here on POET Radio. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the phone lines now. And we're going to talk to hear our, from you. our listeners and see what questions they have and or comments about tonight's show. The pot and the clay for our YouTube listeners. We thank you for tuning in to um, our show. We're live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. on TalkShoe.com. Just type in the Bible show Truth Hour. And, or you can call in at 724-444-7444. ID code 986-96-POUND. Thank you for tuning in. 